on folks welcome back that's right we are headed into walmart to buy everything we need to go ice fishing including everything we need for a catch clean cook we have zero ice fishing supplies with us hopefully they've got the gear we need we're buying rods reels lines lures you name it and then everything to cook what we catch out on the ice with big junior you guys stay tuned oh yeah babies dude they have quite a bit look at this the big scoop. Spoon. You need the old scoop spoon or something. So we've got, I mean, there's everything. We've got an auger. We've got tip-ups. We've got rods with already lying on it. We've got lures. I assume they're going to have some worms of some, yep, okay, yep. There's some little dangle worms in there, so we can we can take a look what's going on there. Is he giving it a bend? I'm using this. Really? really? Carp fishing or what? Yeah. This is pretty sweet. They got everything at this Walmart. All right, so everybody gets a rod and a reel, and then this hand auger is going to be a good time, Banjo. Oh, I can yeah. tell you right now. I you're you're really going to enjoy yourself. I haven't used one of those since I was 10. Yeah. There's I a reason, because they're not enjoyable. So, yeah. all right, let's see. Look, you bought on a budget? Why is this thing so long? Yeah, that's, hey. a, big, that's a big dangle. See that sucker? Ooh, look at the fuzz. Yeah, fuzz beanie. Yeah, I like, I like the fuzz. I think you should get that. Yeah, we're going to take that Wait, with us today. Like really, really cheap. You basically have to convince people to go stand on a frozen block of ice and then drill That's a hole and stand there. One. So they make everything cheap, so that way that you feel inclined to go do it. So you got the $65 dollars. Yeah, no, that's too expensive. We don't. Oh, okay. that, we, we, I mean, listen, we've got a pond to build. Okay, we got to we got to take it easy here. So all right, let's see. I want one with line because I don't want to spool it up. I'm just being That's honest a good, with you. Good, good point. All right, I'm gonna go with the dude. I'm gonna go with the eleven dollar one. I'm gonna go as cheap as we can get. The old Celsius. Okay. I would. You getting the big noodle? Yeah, big noodle. Big big noodle. Okay. What are you dealing with? I don't know. You, gotta, you should get but something with you. lines. We have to buy a line. That's what I was looking for. I was feeling around. That gold guy looks kind of cool. Gold guy. Yeah. yeah. Line, doesn't he? Yeah. There it is. You like that Let's guy? Let's see. The beaver. Big it's beaver, the beaver guy. Beaver huh? dam. No way. <laughs> I got the old beaver dam. I like that. How's how's the tip? How's the flex? Oh yeah. She'll flex. She's yeah. gonna flex. Huh? I got the old. Dude, you really got a stiffy. What are you catching? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know. I, we don't know what we're gonna catch. We've got bass, we got bluegill, we got crappie, we got catfish, we got perch. A bunch of different species where we're gonna be going. We each get a rod and then a tip up. They have a tip up with line. Cause again, I'm, I'm like, we just need probably a little liter on that sucker maybe. Potentially, that's really? another Celsius. I've never heard of Celsius. Me I thought neither. that was a drink. That's what I thought. Yeah, I've never heard I thought that's it. also what those Canadians talk about. Maybe? They're, oh, they're yeah, not yeah, Fahrenheit yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta but, get this yeah. guy. Take him. Hi. Yep. All right, hand dog. No, you got it. I no, you, you got it. Got it. You'll be all right. So we got that. Okay. Let's see. What else? We need some like jig heads and some other stuff. Let's see. What do we like? Oh, where's um, where's the old Swedish nipple? They got yep. that. They got the Swedish nipple. There it is. The Swedish nipple. Oh my the old, god. The, the old Swedish nipple. Yeah, we're gonna get a couple nipples here. That should work. Okay. Couple nipples. Bam. I like this. The old That's sorted it. pack. I feel like that could work. Those so we've got these ones. guys. We've got the Swedish nipples. We've got these little juicy minnow heads. That, those could still those could stink. Yeah, I feel they like. could. They think. Um, and then these guys look like little waxies. Okay. So oh, I like that rubber wax. Yeah, little rubbers. I'm not seeing any lipless here. They've got some jigging wraps, which are okay. I just like the. One of those deals. But that looks like a minnow head. That looks like a waxy. Those are the jig heads. Plus some Swedish nipples. I feel like that's sufficient to catch what we need. We've got three rods. If that's the case, we should get some tip ups. We just, uh, it's going to be tough without live bait. Unless, well, I guess we could throw some night crawlers on them. Yeah. Nothing that says we can't do that. So these ones are the only ones that have some some line on them. Yeah. These big long dongs. Those okay. are long. Three. So let's get two of them. Okay. But we're gonna have now we have to buy a line because you need a liter because that's like ninety seven pound braid, okay. which is not good. Six pound clear, three dollars. I like that. We can make we can make a liter with that. Bam! Tip ups, we're gonna grab some hooks and then we're gonna go get everything we need to cook the fish. You guys stay tuned. All right, now we're on to cooking. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So probably just gonna fry some fish. Like the, the, nothing beats a good fish fry on the water. What are you thinking? You, is that what you want? Yeah, pure veg looks good. I think that'd be good. What what's the difference? Have we ever learned that? Canola, veg. We got corn oil. You've got this is, mazaloa. This is usually the cheapest, so that's why I buy. All right, I'm in for that. All right, and then for fish fry, I'm thinking some New Orleans style fish fry. Ready to rock and yeah. roll. Bam. Easy, easy peasy. Easy. We don't need eggs. We don't need eggs. Just add just add water to it. So we got the breading. We've got the oil. We've got to get like a pot of some sort. We got to get the burner in order to kind of cook it. And then we also grabbed a couple things that, off camera. We grabbed a knife and some pliers. Just some necessities. So we didn't bring anything on this ice fishing adventure. So we're going to go get a pot, a cooker, a burner, a lighter, potentially if we need that. And then we are set and ready to go out on the ice for a catch clean cook. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! 
we made it. Big Junior's excited. Who gave you that? I'm about to cook on the ice. Why would we give you the explosive stuff? It's not explosive unless you mishandle it. Do we know? I, I didn't think about that. Is that what? does the burner thing that we got need a lighter? Because we didn't get one. He's a big SIG guy. He's got a lighter. I'm not a big SIG guy. What the hell? <laughs> you you just made that up. Do you have a lighter though? No. Okay, let's see. Does it have a? Some of them have a clicker. I think it so does. this is what we bought. It screws on the top. Little cooker. I think it should work for Here, today. We'll just... Oh, I see a. I see a, a clicker? clicker. No, I, I lied. I don't. No. Nope, I don't see a clicker. Yeah. Come on, we know you got a lighter. I don't have a lighter. You have a flint? Yeah. A rock. I don't think there's a clicker, is there? How can one, how can you generate a spark? What would Bear Girls do? I feel like we gotta figure something. Anyways, we are at the spot that we're gonna be fishing. We have made videos out here before. I'll roll the footage. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, I got him, I got him! <laughs> So that's where we're at. Caught some big old catfish out here. I mean, some absolute donkeys, okay? Uh, I've caught a bunch of other fish out here as well. We've done all sorts of kayak challenges, catfish challenges, whatever. So we are back at that spot. So we, you know, we pretty much catch any. We wanted to go to a spot where we could catch tons of different species and potentially really, really big catfish, which I think would be fun through the ice. So we've got our, so Big Junior brought the sled, but, and, and he brought minnows, which was cheating. I don't want to hear it from you guys. Big Junior said, well, I want to make sure we catch them. So he brought minnows. Technically, Walmart doesn't have minnows. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll try our artificial first. If it doesn't work, we've got minnows as a backup, okay, I'm just saying. But other than that, we've got that, we've got all the rods, we've got all the cooking stuff in a sled. We're gonna head out. Apparently this is a spring-fed lake, so the ice is questionable in a lot of spots. It's kind of what Big Junior's saying, but hopefully no one falls through. We've got our spikes in case somebody does. Wish us luck. You're gonna die. Big Junior, you're gonna die. I do understand, you're gonna die. I've done this before. Roll the clip. Get over it. Get out of here. Why? Jump real quick for me. It's safe. I feel like I don't. You have shoes on. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah, we, this is a boot venture. Why do we just bring waders? Yeah, I should have brought my waders. You got anything else to complain about? You're going to come fishing. Dang, he's getting sassy. He I like sassy. it. Yeah. Do you not eat breakfast? No, I didn't eat any breakfast. All right, I'll get you. I'll get some. I'll get the burner going. We'll cook you something. Look at the there, though. See that little spring? Go jump next to it. I don't want to do How that. deep is this? Right here? Yeah. Like five foot. Hmm. We gotta go down there, man. Oh, where it looks sh Got it. Yeah, I agree. I'm telling you, where we're going fishing, it looks scary. But it's not. Give me the drill. I'll drill right here and you'll see how deep it is. You got them things ready to roll? I'm ready. Just I just barely. I just feel like you're gonna get wet, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what to oh, do with I'll you. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just jump out onto that. Well, we'll I there. could put you potentially in the sled and pull you. You already told me. I'll just, just get my foot. You're going to get in. wet. It's going to be cold. Do you know how to use this? No, but why? I'm standing you right here. Like, well, I know. I was just breaking it in for him. <laughs> I'm standing right here and it's going to get wet in your belly. It's just really <laughs> sticking a hole in this foot. You don't need noggies. Use your foot. This is a terrible idea. You're going to fall You're gonna fall into keep going this way? Like, like, Junior, you got to take the cap off. Yeah. Well, I didn't know you'd leave the cap on when we're out here fishing. I didn't want you to cut yourself. <laughs> Safety. Yeah. You're sure Walmart doesn't sell an electric one of these? I'm, I'm positive. I look. Come on, keep going. I just got through. Why doesn't it fit? It went in. It'll come out. Yeah. There you go. How thick is that? I don't know. Well, you don't have to get your hand wet. I'm just curious. If... That's decent. That's like five inches. It's more than that. I can't stretch my hand that far. So it's maybe six inches? This thing does not go through the ice very well. Yo, I saw that, yeah. There's a really, really good lift down there. Hey, that was really. $85. Really? Yeah. I clear you a split. Yeah, you're going to get wet regardless. Fishing in this hole is going to suck bad. Come look at this one. Why? We're talking about We got a few if you'll be fine. What do you do? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to clear you a spot so you can land without getting wet. I'll be all right, yeah. Take I'll my throw boots. you my boots. Yeah. No, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I feel like you need boots. Let me just, I, I get can that step sled. from here to right where you, you are, and I'm out of it. This is all wet, though. This oh, is a terrible God. idea. I've no, yeah, no. I see. I, I did this once where I, I hate this where thing. you go out in the morning and it's great, and you come back in the afternoon. That's oh, what happens. Whoosh. Really? She on. Just like this. This sucks. I don't like that this game. Over Banjo's boots. Are your boots waterproof? Yeah. I'm about to find out. Okay. Okay. Oh no, you now you're wet. Oh we got out. this was a terrible idea. No, we're, we're dry. We're I, feel like we're not, no, I feel like we're not dry. Should we no maybe not stand like right here next to No, you, you got it.
All right, we made it. So that's the whole Big Junior halfway, Doug. I, see, I don't like, I'm just gonna follow him. If we all follow Big Junior, don't stand next to each other. The first time when ice fish in the backyard, sketchy ice. Now it's sketchy ice. I don't understand it. Why can't we just go ice fishing when it's not sketchy ice? <laughs> you ready? I'm practicing. <laughs> that's open water. I don't like this at all. There's literally an open lake right there. Hey. Right. That's open, it's, meaning almost not froze. It's safe here. Why don't I believe? Is We're this standing directly? Oh, oh, oh! Dude. That was right under me. Yeah, I felt that in my feet. How much ice is in this hole right here? Not, not enough. Much. Oh, not very much. No. I Look in there. Listen. I'm more nervous to get off. Like, I feel like we're fine here, but when we start walking off, is that as little ice as I think it is yeah, in it's that like hole? Half an inch. Reach your hand in there. That ain't much. Here. That looks like maybe an inch. Am I yeah. stupid or no? Looks like a lot of slush and maybe a half inch of good ice. Let me let me carve through right here and see what it looks oh. like. Really? Oh, okay. What's gonna happen? We, we all fall through. Going to die. You trying to kill us? If you actually think if we fall in here right now, we're dead. I mean, it's not gonna be fun. Well, it's not gonna be fun. Lunch it ain't fun. Okay. Okay, what's it say? Five. Oh, wow. there's a lot more. Yeah, it's a lot clear. Oh, okay. okay. All, right. Like, all, right. Is, all right, all right, all right. Is it clear ice the good ice? Yes. 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 You got like. An inch of bad ice on top. And, like and then the rest maybe is... three, four inches of good ice? Yeah. Okay, we're probably going to not die. As long, as long as we avoid the springs, that's the biggest thing. Hey, man, that's Like, a that? You, no. Don't do that. Yeah. That's bad. This, I agree, this is a decent spot that but we're in. the fish like the spring. Good for them. Good. Can... Congratulations, <laughs> dude. Good for them. Are we fishing this hole, or what are we doing? Yep, drop it in. Really? You on tip-up duty? Because we didn't buy you a rod. He can use that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, I'm filming. Jesus. You get the beaver. Oh, you get the lucky beaver. Lucky yeah, beaver? I about that, yeah. Good beaver. Yeah. Where's he going? Imagine, business on, a, meeting. imagine yeah, on a business meeting right now, just plummets through the ice. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, no, finances look up. Whoa! Just falls right through the ice. Banjo, Banjo, are you there? Are you there, Banjo? <laughs> Which that'd be kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the, that's, the that's the lucky beef. beef. I like it. Good choice. Yeah, you like the welcome. beef? We got everything with already with strung up with lines. So you don't it have to is. do that. You guys need a knife? I got one. Oh, there it is. All right. I've got the Celsius. You've got the Lucky Beaver. We got the Night Crawlers. Big Junior, he brought worms, like uh, wax worms and minnows. So, again, he kind of cheated a little bit. But I'm going to start with what we got from Walmart. Worst case scenario that we have to dig into Big Junior's little pile of, of goodies. But I'm excited, dude. Like, I think you're going to be pretty impressed. Because you've never had a fish right on the ice, have you? This will be the first wild fish I've ever caught on the ice. Huh? You've never, I, you, you've, no. I've never caught a f The only fish, ice fish you caught was one at my the house. The one in your backyard. Yeah, and that wasn't wild, no. I wouldn't say that, but you've never had a, well, that would answer my question. You've never had a fish fry on the ice. No. See, the fish, it's like the duck blind food. You know, it's like 10 times better than the duck. Wait, it it's going to be the best. How'd that go? Good. We made a joke. We said, like, it'd be funny if you were on the <laughs> business call and it was like, yeah, no finances are looking, go, whoa, and you just like fall. That would not be funny. You know how bad that yeah. would be? where are you? Rachel, that was a you very go? important call, so that would not that, have been funny. That would have been bad? Yeah. You solve world hunger or what? Yeah. Big Junior's going to use the beaver. He's on beaver duty. Really? Per usual. Yep. My fingers can't grab this. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I, we brought pliers. I Get used it. my teeth. Me too. How's that work? Success. Man, All right. He's got this freaking pike rod. Let's <laughs> yeah, say he's, but he's ready for the catfish. He's, True. he's actually oh. smart because if he hooks a catfish, all of us are screwed but him. There's some big old kitties in here. So we're going to get these guys rigged up. You know what else I got you? What? Your favorite. What? Take a guess. I don't know what to guess. A Swedish nipple. Oh, that's my favorite. Big nipple guy. Stay tuned. Swedish nipple. What do you got? You got the old fake waxy. This thing has a bell on it. You you gonna it's cut little, that tag end off there? Or? No, it's a little floppy, you know. No, he's about the, the, the eight inches of string the you got. You left on there. Oh, does that matter? No, you'll be all right. That's what I, I That's my favorite is when you see that, but it's on like an old rusty spinnerbait, and you're like, "Bet that guy's got bigger fish than me." Yes. Because he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, he don't what care. are you dang with, Big Banjo? Bit it. I'm cheating. Ban Banjo's cheating out the gate. Yeah. He's going minner. Yeah. He wants big. The thing is, look at that. He's got the big rod. He does. We should give him the big bait. So I'm going with the Swedish nipple with a fake minnow head. You've got the waxy. Banjo's got the real minnow. Let's see who can catch the first fish, and then we're gonna get. It's cooking, stay tuned. All right, we're dropping them down, boys. The old Swedish nipple. I think we're on the bottom now. It's pretty cool. This line comes pre kinked. Yeah, that's awesome. That's my favorite, especially when you're about to jig a nipple. It's only going to get worse. Oh, yeah, this feels like it was $4. So many loops. Mm hmm. Should work. All right, the nipple is jigging. Yeah, I don't want to go over there for sure. You no? Know? That looks really not fun. That's where we're catching the, the big, big ones. Really? Oh, what in the Sam hell? Celsius already done goofed. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Nipples to get in the forward. Oh, Banjo's got it dialed in now. And if I'm cheating, I'm going to cheat yeah, fully. Got a He's going full on. I got to go so far away from my hole. I kind of like that, actually, though. And I won't fall in. <laughs> Good old idea. Yeah, kitty kitty.
Oh, oh, big bite, big bite, big bite, big bite. Come on. Big Gosh dang it, dude. I was looking the other way. Massive crack in the ice over there. There it is. You think this is safe? No. What's up well, to you? Dang, dude. I got absolutely whapped. Really? Come on, buddy. That when you did that jump, my, the whole the water in my hole yeah, did something. I would advise not. I'll get to those you, ones. you do whatever you want, pal. This my wax. Dang it, dude! I got freaking thumped, son. Oh, we're on. Oh, we're God. on. Really? We're on. Yep. I think it's a little... crappie. Oh. Let's go on the old nipple. Let's go, buddy. And crappie love the, their nips. Tell you what, come here, little guy. He ain't big. Ah, ah. You getting it? Yeah. Oh, ah. That's the old fake minnow tip. Right there, buddy. The old crappie ate the nip. This is pretty small for in this lake, though, isn't it, Big Junior? So we probably should just throw him back, see if we can catch another one. I can go get tip-ups ready if you want. That might get a big fish. Yeah. Tip-up. Oh, Big Junior, you getting by you? Yeah. Uh-oh. He's on. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh. He came off! Uh-oh. Set the hook, man. Let's see. Oh! Let's go. What the, did we get the school, school fired oh, up? What school happened? Yeah. yeah. About the same. About the same. Same, same. You, you think you think return? Return to sender? Return to sender, Banjo. Yeah, put him in my hole so I can catch him again. There it is. Nice! We all of a sudden we yeah. all got we, we it was a you think it was a crappie? I saw it, it was a crappie, yeah. The school must have come through, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you guys sick. keep catching crappie. I want to get some tip up set out because we might catch big crappie, big catfish, and big bass. Stay tuned. Big junior POV. Almost. You ever ice fish this close to open water? No. Can't say I have. <laughs> Can't say I've ever been dumb enough. I am today. Alright. Now we wait. That didn't take long. <laughs> He's biting it? Yeah. He gonna set that hook or? No, that scares me. Well, you can just lift up. It's true. You like the beaver? Yeah, dude. This thing's sick. I can feel everything. I think you took my my waxy? Maybe. No. Still got your waxy? Still a waxy. See if they'll hit it right here. I hooked him wrong. He's dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on. We're on. Oh, banjo's, oh, oh come on. no. Crap. Still got, still got the minnow though. Come on back. Rip, that one felt is that, good. Is that a big one? It was bigger. Your rod was bent and you got a fat rod. Yeah, that one was bigger. Pulling drag on the bigger rod's kind of impressive. Yeah, oh, the minnow came off, so. Dang, that was gonna be an eater. Yeah. You think he's got it? Swimming with it now, yeah. Lift up. He dropped it. Big Junior don't believe in setting the hook. I don't know what you want me to do. Okay, now that you said that, you're gonna see some wild sh <laughs> Oh! Band just hooked up again. Oh, oh son of a. Sh them paper lips. It's gotta be them paper lips. Rip. That's what I'm thinking. They're here though. All right, Banjo, your your tip is about to go up. I got this tip up rigged up. So it came with this line, which is kind of nice. So I just put on like about a two footer of like, I don't know, some six pound, which is like decent. Again, this could be for some big fish. Six might be a little overkill, but I've never actually used this in tip up in particular. This is also one of them Celsius ones. Big Celsius guys at Walmart. But we got to take the auger and the bucket of Big Junior's cheating minnows. I'm gonna show you guys how to catch a big old fish. Now we're cooking. Clean as a whistle. That wasn't that bad. What was he complaining about? Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like you did that in half as many turns as he did. All right, so this is how you find the bottom if you don't have a fish finder. What's Banjo got? Oh, buddy. Fish loser over there. These guys are just coming off. You got a treble hook on that nipple, don't you? Sam Hell, right? All right, so drop this guy down. He's going to go find the bottom for us. That's the bottom. That's right on the bottom. I'm just going to mark it. This, is, this isn't how we normally do it, but that'll mark basically where I want the bottom of it. See how deep it actually is here. Oh, not very deep. Eight That's pretty shallow. How'd that go? Take all those minnows. Oh, you want the cheating minnows? Yeah. Okay. They're not really helping, so. Hey, you want to hand me a cheating minnow? Do a little open water fishing? You go ahead and cast over there. You let me know how that goes. Boom! I'm just waiting for somebody. <laughs> Somebody's gonna plunge. You got a good one for me? There it is. He's lively. All right, so we're just gonna hook him right by the dorsal. Oh, yeah, yeah, buddy. Split. So a lot of times I throw at least a split shot on it. Forgot to buy those. So we're gonna have to just floater. hope for gravity. Hopefully he gets down enough. But ideally, yeah, you throw a little split shot on it will help. Or, you know, your hook could have a little weight on it as well. He'll find put, it. We could put a little jig head on there. Yeah, it'll be all right. He'll, he'll find his way slowly but surely. He's working his way down there. And that line should sink, right? Yeah, yeah, this heavy, yeah. heavy braid. He'll get down there. And again, him being able to kind of do what he wants, I think that would attract a fish. So go ahead and set this line down in there. And remember, that's the mark. That's where I want the bottom of the spool. Now, I'm curious on this because I haven't used this one. Assume this comes up. So you, you're going to have to, okay, so let's see. This is going to do that. It's going to go like this, which this thing's going to block that, right? And it tri it's got to trigger it. But he, I've never used this one. It's got to be something with that, right? Like that? Maybe. This thing, regardless, has to come out. Yeah. You assume, right? 
don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back. Oh, yet. maybe it just bends. Oh, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah see how it's bent? On yeah. That okay. Tip, okay. So it goes like it hook. I okay. See, we this makes it out. Celsius. You got it. Got to be smarter than Celsius here. It's gonna go like this when they pull it. Bam. Trigger, kinda. I don't think that was exactly how it's supposed to work, but I think it's close. So that's gonna sit about that deep from there. So this is where our knot was. So I'm just gonna pull it, and I'm gonna wheel it up a little bit more than that. That should keep him off the bottom. All right, so then take this. Huh, who's beating? Look at it. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's gonna be an assistant. Oh my God. Is it large? It's large. Get in there. I got you. Oh. <laughs> we got a bat. Oh god, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Big bass guy. Are we eating him? I don't know, you wanna eat him? We'll catch him. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. There you go. Big that was fun. Pimple guy. That was fun, yeah. You gonna catch one, Big Junior? No, I'm sure gonna try. All right, trigger set. Buddy's sitting pretty. Should make sure that's gonna lay how I want it. Did I make you proud with that bass? Yeah, you did. No promises. Hopefully that works. I'm gonna go over to get another one with the weight. Banjo, you're just kicking some ass over there. Big Junior hasn't caught a fish yet. He's Sorry. got his cheating. He's got his cheating minnow. Yeah. No, this it, is a waxy. Probably doesn't help. What happened there? Why How did you, that just happen? Do it through the mouth. I, say, I think part part of your problem might be your hook size for to minnow ratio. Yeah. Yeah. It could also be because the tip of I, your. I'm pretty sure this thing just fit through the eyelid of this. Yeah, that's exactly what. Yeah, happened. it definitely did. That's sweet. You're killing it. All right, I'm gonna bring up another one. Yes, yeah, stay tuned. Up on the move, boys. Mobile, mobile tip. Oh yeah, oh yeah, tip mobile. Oh, we got hung up. He come off. He come off. Oh, rip. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. These tip ups low key kind of suck. They were pretty cheap, but like he was there when I came mm -hmm. here. It was like this, yeah. and then it took off, and the line was way out there. What happened is it wasn't free spooling. It got caught up somewhere, so they felt it and let go. Son of a gun. While it's up, should we put a jig head on? Yeah, this we one need so to swap. We need to swap to the old jiggy. Gravity fed ain't working. He's swimming under it. I can see them. I'm sight fishing through the ice. I'm attempting. Oh, he just took a big swing. He missed. Ready? Yeah. Dude, if you could see what I could see, just watch. Watch the minnow. Oh, he's got like a foot under the surface. Do you see that? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, do you see him just take it? Oh, damn! <laughs> Dude, we're sight fishing. He's got a bass fired up underneath the surface of the ice. Nope. One more hit. Come on. I got a nice bite. False alarm. The hit. False Good. Alarm. All right, boys, we got two tip ups out one in the shallows. One back in the deep where I missed that one. You seem to be having quite the time here. I'm not sure about us all standing. I'm trying so hard. Here, I'll switch to this one. Well, this looks scary. Are though. you missing him because your hook is for panfish? I don't know. And you've got a chub on it? Because <laughs> I can tell you right now, that's going to be part of I'm it. I'm confident in this. Yep, you just moved the water here, so keep doing that. That's perfect. You said you're sight fishing him, huh? I literally, I swear. Oh, yeah. No, we're on. I just sight fish one. Crappie. Oh, oh eater! Oh, oh. Eater! I just sight fished him, dude. You weren't you were lying. I told you. You weren't lying. That's what happens when you switch to the nipple, though. Look at that. All you need is a little nip in your life. I mean, he ate it, dude. I literally was like trying to look for my jig, and I was like, whoa, there's one. Wham. He was, that's a lot of times with ice, ice fishing, if you guys have never done it, they like it rising. Just not like you have to like yank it hard, but as you jig it higher and higher, and it makes them go up. Their eyes are on top of their head. They can see it a little bit better. That is going to be lunch. A little golden crispy action. Yeah, stay tuned. Oh, oh, on the top. On the nip? Yeah. Swedish nip. All right, I'm gonna see if I can sight fish him again. We need a shack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see them. Oh, they're right under it. I see them. Hey, they're over here too. We got, we got them schooled up, boys. They do like it shallow over here. Yeah, I can literally see my bait. That's crazy. As far as the, the tip ups aren't just going crazy. It's a minnow just Dude, getting. It's like bull shark. You want me to put little junior back? Little junior, yeah. He's not little junior. Little, little junior. He's, I mean, compared to the one I got, yeah. I'd say yeah. Little junior's back in the hole. Put put him back in the hole where he belongs. Well, I might catch one more, and I might get to cooking, boys. That one's gonna fry him. Not yep. 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 Oh, oh another kinger, dude. Another kinger. <laughs> Look at the absolute dunk on that! Wow! You can see they're stunted in here. That means there's too many of them and there's not enough bait. So actually taking fish out in this case is good. And even honestly, the small ones we're throwing back. Tip, if, if this was like a lake that I was gonna manage, I would take those out too. But these guys, even though they're skinny, they should have some decent meat on them. But, but Jerry, I'm gonna go ahead and say your hole is the best hole. Why won't they bite mine? Because you're not fishing the Swedish nipple. I'm telling you. A whole minnow hooked through the bottom lip, through the top lip, on the Swedish nipple, get your big old crappie. 
You gonna get them or what? I just saw one. Dude, it's like sharks. Huh? huh? They're just, they like surround it like sharks. All right, well, I'm gonna get to flaying these bad boys. You boys keep catching them. Cause once that grease is hot, we're gonna keep going. Stay tuned. Bam! We are gonna be flaying the crappie. Can't show you on YouTube. You can check it out on Uncut if you wanna see it. But Big Junior just caught another one, slid over here. So we've got one, two, three, four. They're gonna keep catching them. I'm gonna keep filleting. The grease is gonna get hot. Stay tuned. I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> where'd this come from? I just was enjoying that. It's hot. Yeah, there's heat right here. Okay. We might have to make a wind block with this. It's hot, I mean, it's warm. Well, we got that going. We got some pure veg oil, per Banjo's request, for the frying. Yeah, but it's gonna be good. I'm excited for Big Junior to try it, because he's never had fish on the ice, like I was explaining to him. When you eat food, like breakfast in the duck blind, it's like 10 times better. This is the same way. It's gonna be phenomenal. So, we've got a bunch of fillets. I guess I could show them that. Some big old crop, not even big old, but decent sized crappie fillets. The boys got one more that we gotta still fillet up. That's what we're gonna be eating, so. Should we rinse this out in the minnow bucket, or what do you think, Banjo? Use your scoop and dangle it down in the hole. That's sketch. That, what if it slips off and goes? Well, you just, right on the surface, just to rinse. You think? Yeah. I feel like that, I feel like that could go bad, no? You're uh, saying, I don't think so. You're saying ladle it into the hole? Yeah. What if we lose our- Well, our... don't dunk it, dunk it. Just get right on the surface. Why don't we take one of our little pans and put water in there? Okay, we have a pan? That one's got oil in it. Oh, the little pan you're saying. All right, you got it. Is, is that? Really? Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna go south. Just wait one second, pal. I mean, I can also just do this. Yeah. Okay, just put it in the Here, yeah, you, 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 you. Dump it Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just do the hand, the hand. Hand deal. rinse? Yep, yep. I mean, it, it'll be good enough. Oh, uh, oh, he's gone forever. Can't really? It, now. Mm -hmm. it was just like a little bit. There's a little bit. I actually got him. Oh, rip. Yeah, I can still get him. You think you still I you see it? Huh? It's gone now. Nah. Yeah. Well, you waited too long. Sorry. So we're gonna get these guys cleaned off, rinsed off. I mean, icy white crappie fillets through the ice. It doesn't get a whole lot better. Other than if we got a big old walleye involved here or something, or kitty cat would be pretty good right now. Oh, I'd love yeah, what happened to the kitty cats, Big Junior? I thought you were on cat duty. You take one of these scraps of the crappie and go. that's later tonight. Oh, big evening guy, huh? I see, he's holding out for you guys. All right, crop, crappie fillets have been cleansed, okay? Is this thing getting hot quick or no? Not quite. Once you hear the water pop, that's when we're ready. All right, boys, the oil's hot. Louisiana fish fry, it's gonna taste good. Best part about this stuff is you don't even need the egg. You just water. rinse with ice water, shake excessive water off, and you're good. So we got these little tins. It's gonna act as our breading location, as well as our plates, as well as everything. Because this is the only thing we bought. It's gonna have to do. So go ahead and shake off your, your breading in there. Take your filet, lay it in there nicely, and just give her a little shake. Just one of them wham-bams. Light little dusting on there, boys. You think, Banjo, you like that? Shake it off. Let's see. Golden crispy coming up high, boys. Yep, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bread up the rest, get them all fried up, golden crispy. Hopefully, Big Junior catches a big old kitty while we're waiting. This is gonna taste good. Shit, doggy, look at them golden crispies, boys. On the water. I mean, these suckers were swimming 10 minutes. That was in one scoop. Was all right, that was impressive. Look at that. The real question is can I get them in here without burning anybody? Ah! Close. Perfect. Imagine serving it up like this. Oh I feel like God. this needs to be how, how you do that. Dude, this looks good. Oh, yeah. That's it. How's that make you feel? It smells really good. Mmm. Yeah. It smells nice. Straight from the water. Dude, this was swimming like yeah. not long ago. Straight up golden and crispy. Hot crop of filet. That's so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, crispy. My God. Mm-hmm. Like, you were right. It's out duck, on the ice. It was like duck blind food. Yeah. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's... So good. Give me some lemon pepper. Pure white. I will say the seasoning's a touch on the not bland, but just there's not a whole lot it's of pop. Lot. But it's so good, it's honestly fine. If mm -hmm. the one thing that I think would make it a little better, if we had some ducks buffalo, pop it on top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And try some. Sure. Get yourself some of them nuggies. 
Oh, it oh, just warms oh. your soul. Mm -hmm. yeah. My fingers my is got so, so cold when I was filleting those fish, uh -huh. and I was sitting there huddling by the fire as it was cooking. That just, mm, it soothes the soul. I feel good. I need it's like good. 10 more pieces, though. I was going to say, yeah, wait, we go unfortunately, the fish, the, they just didn't have a lot of girth to them. But we're not going to completely end the video because there's still a chance things get western on our venture back yeah. because uh, it, the sun's been out for a couple hours since it's been out here. Luckily, it's not crazy warm. But like I said, I've made this mistake where you get on the ice in the morning and you get off in the afternoon and you boom, and you plunge. So we're gonna walk back and see if. Are you going first? I'll go first. Here's the thing: whoever goes first is actually in the best of position because when I did it, when you, when you leaped, it broke off, and then I was the one that got screwed going over. Last so last is the worst. Going last is the worst for sure. So I'll go first. Your big, big Junior going first. You gotta stay tuned. You got it, buddy. Go for it, Big Junior. Oh God. I think you're probably fine. Really? Are you doing the sled thing again or what? I'm standing right here. That's what I said, it feels scary. Oh! We got it. Are you okay to carry you out? I'm fine. <laughs> what are you doing? Eating <laughs> you good? Yeah. You just walk on the thing. Okay. So I'm gonna get wet anyway, so we might as well. I mean, that's four. Okay, water, all so. right. Oh. Well, no, no, not the tip. No, no, no. Oh, no. I'm just going to get wet. Yeah, I, at this, I mean, at this point. We got heated boots, bro. I got boots. Good. How's that going? Yeah, it's going good. Look at that. The whole, you just broke that whole jump. piece. <laughs> jump right there, Major. Wait, right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big G, you jump. <laughs> Do it again. Whoa, oh, he's, he's breaking up the whole iceberg. <laughs> he's breaking up the whole iceberg. Keep going. It's not deep, is it? It's gonna no. be like knee deep, right? No. <laughs> no, you'll be all right. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, well, you guys just saw we went out to Walmart. We've got a bunch of gear, all the gear needed to catch fish. I would advise those tip-ups. Those aren't my favorite tip-ups. I wasn't a huge fan of them, but the rod, the reels, the Swedish nipple, per usual, did the trick. We catched, we cleaned, and we cooked. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you next one, and peace.